The Wonderful Story of Henry Sugar uh, is out on Netflix along with three other shorts titled respectively The Swan, The Rat Catcher and Poison. All four are directed by Wes Anderson and based on short stories written by Roald Dahl. Uh, they don't have to be viewed in sequence uh, or even together. Uh, in fact, Anderson himself uh, said he doesn't think of them as an anthology, but rather four separate things. Uh, they star Ralph Fiennes, uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, Dev Patel, Richard Ayoade, Ben Kingsley and Rupert Friend. Henry Sugar is the longest of the bunch at around 40 minutes and all the other ones are around 17 minutes each. Uh, and each of them is essentially <clears throat> what would happen if you decided to make an audiobook of those stories with brilliant actors reading the lines but also the narration. And then on top of that also shot those actors performing the scenes on a theatrical stage uh, with beautiful painted sets being sort of changed and moved around them all the time. It's deliberately very stagey, um, it's deliberately very layered in terms of storytelling, uh, like Wes Anderson likes to do this with his films, uh, they're essentially all to some degree uh, stories within stories. Um, and again, Henry Sugar goes the, further, the farthest with this because at one point it becomes four levels of story nested within each other. Uh, we are listening to Ralph Fiennes, telling us the story of how Benedict Cumberbatch is reading a book where Dev Patel writes about what he heard from Ben Kingsley. Uh, it's also very unmistakably Wes Anderson uh, in other aspects, uh, set design, costumes, the way actors deliver their lines, uh, the way shots are composed, the sort of very quick and fluid motion between scenes. Uh, but there is also a lot of Roald Dahl in it, uh, most notably with a certain air of darkness in the stories that I think is is absent in, in things that Wes Anderson also writes. Um, my personal favorite of the bunch was The Rat Catcher, but I really enjoyed all of them. Uh, the performances are very good, uh, particularly Rob, Rupert Friend impressed me because in The Swan he narrates every single character in it and yet at some point you get so into the story that you cease to notice it and you just get engrossed. I think it, it was a difficult job to perform and he pulls it off magnificently. Uh, now, if someone isn't a fan of Wes Anderson, these shorts may come off as a bit strange, but on the other hand, I found them much less self-indulgent than, uh, for instance, his last theatrical movie, Asteroid City. It feels that while, like Asteroid City, these shorts are a fascinating acting and directing exercise for the people involved, they also don't forget to be just fun stories for the audience to experience. Um, and just as a final point, I also want to say that I'm very happy that Netflix uh, made this. Uh, I mean, say what you will about them, they do sometimes allow great filmmakers to just do weird stuff that nobody else wants to fund. like. Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities, or his version of Pinocchio, or even things like The Irishman, for which Scorsese famously couldn't find funding elsewhere. I really do appreciate that things like that, and things like these four short movies, are allowed to exist on this platform.